the 10 that have been taken against him. Brocky, and Brocky scores! It's down to, to you as an individual to make sure that you stay on track and, and uh, look a bit further ahead, that, knowing that times are going to get better and brighter. And um, Like I said, the initial part's tough, but the rewards of, of stepping back out on the pitch are, are second to none. What would you say to a young person who wants to get into being a professional sports person? For me, um, the biggest thing that I learned and helped me achieve to where I am is goal setting. Um, I go back to the parent thing. My, my dad helped me a lot in terms of getting me to write down goals and not just I want to be a professional footballer because anyone can sort of write that down but I would write short term goals, medium term and, and then long term. On, on the long term there was wanting to um, be a professional footballer, wanting to play for the New Zealand national team, wanting to to go to a World Cup and play for New Zealand. And, and those goals are great, but not everyone can, Not you're not always going to achieve them. So short, little short-term goals would be um, looking for, ahead just to the next game you've got or the next training session and um, working on your strengths. Um, but not only football, related goals either, maybe goals um, in terms of your diet and, and fitness and, and not always about football because um, you've got to have some other interests. Thanks Jeremy on behalf of the iSport Foundation for sharing your experiences with us. My pleasure.